David K. Brimley, and I am the owner of Brimley Neon Incorporated. And it's a family business that's been in business since 1930. So right now I'm the president of the corporation and I have all my family working here. And uh, that's what I do. We make neon signs. Brimley Neon started in about 1930. My grandpa Leonard Brimley. The situation was getting pretty tough for their family because um, it was right at the beginning, right, well, right actually after the depression had just started. He and his brother Harvey Brimley decided to start their own company. And Harvey was a sign painter. He had painted signs for a while, and Grandpa Leonard was a good bookkeeper and businessman, he thought, so they decided to start a sign company. And they started the company and called it Brimley Brothers Incorporated, named after the two of them, which were the two Brimley brothers. They started out painting signs, first of all. They started painting billboards out through Nevada. And uh, eventually they decided that they needed to add some uh, aspects to their business, so Grandpa figured out that maybe Neon was a, a good thing to start doing. Took some money with him and his old car and he drove to Chicago where he bought some equipment to produce Neon. It was just brand new. Neon didn't come to the U.S. until 1928. So that was the, really the basis of the design company getting it started. And I started working for my dad when I was about six or seven. I'd just go down to the shop and, and clean windows. Grandpa's favorite thing for me to do was to wash all the windows with old newspapers. <laughs> and so at the same time, I started playing with the glass in the fires and learning how it felt to, to melt glass and to heat glass and so on. So I started learning neon when I was very young. We focus on vintage neon signs, which are the old style neon that harken back to the 1940s. And again, after the war, uh, 1945, it became really big. And so most of the nostalgia that's connected with neon goes back to that period. So what we do here, we focus on restoration of antique neon signs. We rebuild or reproduce vintage style antique neon signs, signs that are brand new but look like they're really old, and we do restoration of antiques. The newest lighting source now is called LED or light emitting diode, and it's replacing neon in a lot of ways, but it will never be able to replace the actual look of um, what we call exposed real neon. There's only one thing that will ever look like that, and that's neon. As far as the old type of neon uh, where you used to see it everywhere all the time, it's extremely different nowadays than it was in the past, and it's much, much slower. There just isn't the market for it that there used to be. That's why another reason why we specialize in the vintage stuff. There's a lot of controversy about the, um, the light efficiency and the power consumption of neon versus LED. Neon is probably the second most efficient lighting source there is. That's why we still use it a lot, partly too, and LEDs are up and coming and they're going to be what we see most everywhere for almost all lighting sources in the future. But neon will never really be replaced because it always has its place in what it is. So I don't think that it will ever become obsolete because it's irreplaceable in its, in its effect and in the medium that it is and how it looks. Neon is something that is part of me and in my blood. I remember seeing it when I was two or three years old outside my window from a neon Santa Claus that my father built and hung outside for Christmas. And um, I've always loved it and I always will and I think there'll always be room for it. And my family and my children, my son-in-law Ryan, they like the same kind of things that I do. They like uh, vintage things, antique signs, old signs, and a lot of people do. And we have a good market with our collectors and good market with our uh, vintage style reproductions and so on. And I foresee that we'll be able to continue doing this for quite a few years and uh, somebody, if, if not us, if one of our children don't decide to do that, then there will always be a market for neon in some degree or another. It's just a very interesting and, and um, uh, efficient and beautiful form of light. <laughs>